Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I am Share, and I wanna thank you lovely people for being here today. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about all things fall. Yes, fall is approaching, it's right around the corner and your girl has been doing a lot of shopping for some decorations and I wanna go ahead and share that with you in today's video. We're gonna be doing some cleaning and then your girl is gonna decorate. I wanna show you how I decorate my home for the fall. So before we get started, I want you to go ahead and click that subscribe button, subscribe to your girl's channel because I would love for you to be a part of my family. Click that notification button so you won't miss an upload. And if you like what you see, go ahead and click that button. Click that like button, okay? So let's go ahead and get right on into it. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, so you might hear a little extra in the background because I do have kids. I have two and they're two, both underage. So, you know, it is what it is. But your girl did a lot of shopping. I wasn't playing. I was not playing, guys. I was on a mission. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got and where I got it from. And maybe I'm, I'm going to try to link it below. If not, you can just catch what I got in the video. You'll catch the names of it. I picked up these right here. These are actually from the Dollar Tree. These are from Hobby Lobby. If you caught one of my videos, my vlogs, a few, uh, about a month or so ago, I picked these up from there. Now, I got these right here last year. I never was able to use them because um, we were getting renovations done to my home. So I actually didn't get to use these, but I got these pumpkins from home goods. I really like them because they're like a leather leaf, a lever, a leather type of material. So I picked up a few pumpkins. This is brown with like a gold tip right there. I got two of those and I picked up these pumpkins. This is like a woodish brown tone. And of course you see this has some taupe in it and white. I got these from home goods. This actually was from Ross. I picked these up from the Target dollar spot last year. Bought some items and that, and I'm also reusing them. So make sure you do that too. Always go and go and I went in my attic and picked up some things, but that's what I did. And I got this candle. I like the wood grain. I'm sure you guys kind of see where I'm going with my colors, my color scheme. But I got this candle from Home Goods. I picked these towels up kitchen towels up from home goods i love the texture of it I'm, i love the waffle and then it has the fringe at the bottom and it came in a pack of three if you caught my other vlog i showed you this i bought this right here from home goods we're gonna add some wood to a bunch of wood in there and brown and taupe tone color tone then i have a basket full of acorns. What are, are these acorns? Guys, are these acorns? Anyways, you guys know I got a bunch of these. I can't, I'm getting, I don't know if I'm getting this mixed up with the other stuff. But anyways, I got a bunch of those. I got a bunch of more pumpkins. This was from the Dollar Tree. I got this, I believe last year or two years ago. I Again, I've been reusing some of my stuff. Um, I got these little clips. They also came from the Dollar Tree. Got these candles right here from Hobby Lobby. These are a tote. Got this right here, I'm gonna incorporate my what I already have in my home and incorporate bronze tones too, brown tones, uh, wine colors, blacks, brown, um, dark browns, white creams, ivories, all of the above, you know what I mean. But I got this from Home Goods. This lovely rug. It's like a faux fur rug. I got this from Ross. This came from Ross. This looks a little fake, but it looks really nice in person. I got all of my little, I have some natural. These are actually live uh, <clears throat> dried out flowers. This one right here, I don't know if you could see it, but I got this. I'm gonna incorporate these in there. I'm gonna do some type of flower arrangement, we'll see. And then look at these beautiful beauties. Look at that, I love it. 
see that? Okay, you see that? And then these are actually fake. These are oat seed sprays. Don't they look real? I got a few of those. And then also from the Target Dollar Spot, I don't know if I'm gonna use this because I don't know, we'll see. I might add pops of, well, I already have a bunch of black, but I'm gonna be probably incorporating this and you can put a candle, a tea, a, a tea light candle in these. Guys, when I saw this at Home Goods, I had to buy it. You see this, doesn't it look so cozy? Ooh. What's this? Ooh. This was from Home Goods. Ooh, yeah. Okay, enough about that. Yes, your girl gonna be snuggling up. And then I have this right here. I got this from Home Goods. I've used this quite a bit, put my little flower arrangements in there. So I'm gonna incorporate this. Don't you see the texture of it? I love how natural it is and it adds a lot of character. Also, I have this around the house. Got this from Home Goods. This from Home Goods. I haven't used it yet. Got this from Hobby Lobby. I was looking for some pillows and I have, I always have a vision in my head and I went to a few places. I would have thought home goods would have had it, but then I went to at home and they have a lot of nice stuff there. And I got these pillows from home goods guys. I was like, when I saw it, I was like, Ooh, that's it. I got the last two. Now I don't like the feeling of these but i'm going to switch it out they have a zipper so that i can add my filling but guys look at these beauties look at this i don't know if you can see the crackling in it you see that yeah but once i put all this stuff together guys it's gonna be cute hey so right now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go ahead and start on my lady lounge area. I'm going to stop all my... Let's go ahead and decorate. Hey, 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 hey. Hi. I clean and dust frequently throughout the week, so my lady lounge area doesn't require a lot of cleaning, but I'm still going to freshen it up a bit in here. Before you start decorating, you definitely want to make sure you're removing any dirt and cobwebs so your area will be airy, fresh, and inviting to sit in. You don't want your space looking ashy with nice decor, do you? You don't put lipstick on crusty lips, so you don't want to decorate on top of dirt and dust. I feel like this helps maintain the longevity of your home and decor. So in this room, I decided to add wine and brown colors. My goal is to add warmth to my home. When I think of fall, I think of warmth, feeling cozy. I think of dark, deep, dark colors, gorgeous wood tones, pumpkin scents, layering, textures, natural earthy things, and all that good stuff. I also love the decor I already have in the room, so I decided not to add much more to the space. This is my area, so I wanted it to have more of a sexy and sophisticated vibe to it. As you can see, sometimes you don't have to change up every piece in your space to make a statement and to achieve that look that you're going for. I only added a few decor pieces and it definitely changed the temperature in the room. I think it definitely screams more fall in this area now. What do you think? Shop your home, mix and match old and new items and always keep your receipt just in case you bring any items home and realize it just doesn't fit your space in the way you want it to. You don't have to always go out and spend a lot of money. I spent $20 on decor for this space. I really didn't know what look I was going for. A lot of the times when I decorate, I look at my space to see what colors may complement one another in my room. From that, I go to the store and see if I can find it. Sometimes the color of my nail polish could inspire me and then I work off of that. In this case, I saw the wine color rug and that inspired me to pick out my other decor. Comment below and let me know what inspired you for your fall decorating this year. I'm really loving the look in this room. Normally I only decorate my family room, but being that I have kids, I like to decorate for the different holidays. And so I try to do that with throughout the whole entire home. Comment below and let me know, do you decorate for Halloween? Do you decorate just for the fall, Thanksgiving, Christmas, or you don't decorate at all? 
By the way, don't forget to follow your girl on Instagram at all of Sharae Lynn. I put that down below. Go ahead and follow me and check me out on there. Now I'm in the family room and I will be also decorating two more areas of my home. Wait to the very end of my cleaning. All the spaces turned out extremely different than what you would expect. It's a huge transformation. Honestly, I surprised myself. I wasn't planning on changing up my home the way that I did, but I'm really proud of myself because normally I don't like, I like to change up my decor, but not like completely. And so I pretty much changed up every piece in my home, moved it around and switched things out. When I decorate my home, it can take me a minute to decide on the layout, what decor I want to use and how I want to position everything. My brown leather like pumpkins inspired me and drove the whole look in the rest of my home. I have a lot of black and gray colors in my home, so it can make my home look a little cold, but I'm about to change that up. When I clean, I like for everyone to be out of the area. I prefer to clean and decorate at night after everyone is in bed, no interruptions. I like to turn on some good music, pour a glass of wine, and that's when I get into my element. <laughs> Comment below and let me know what you like to do when you clean and decorate. What is your routine and do you like decorating for the fall? Right now I'm just playing around with different looks and trying to figure it out. Normally that's what I do, that's my process when I'm decorating my home, I move things around, I sit on it maybe for a day to see if I like where I place my items and if I even like the item at all. Also, don't forget to catch up on my vlogs and my home update videos. I incorporate a lot of home decor and shopping in those videos. Um, I just did my home tour, so if you would like to see how my living room, dining room, kitchen, and bedroom look before I made any changes, go check that out. I'll also try to link that above so that you can see it. And at the end of the video, I'll link a playlist. But yeah, go ahead and go binge on those videos. I find a lot of deals here and there and some nice items that go out of stock. Make sure you stay tuned to those videos so that you can go ahead and be in the loop so that you can grab, you know, your home decor before they run out. I'm cleaning my dining area. I also have done a video on how to style you know the area with the pillows and how to style your dining room table this is actually one of my decor pieces that i used in the summertime and i'm gonna go ahead and switch that out i'm removing my bright green moss to a warm color moss Guys, when I tell you that I was struggling with this moss, it was like pulling out teeth, but I got it together. This will add more warmth to the area. I made it nice and cozy. You know, I have the candles going, I have my layering, I have my furs going. I mean, it's very comfortable. My kids love it. My husband, he walked in the house and he was like, this is different. <laughs> We're so used to looking at the same type of decor. I hadn't changed it out a whole lot. I normally kind of stick to my white, creams, and blacks. So I've stepped out my comfort zone a little bit. So I'm not going to have you waiting much longer. With further ado, here is the final look of my home. Wow.